Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be my nude lip video. So I'm going to share with you some of the nude lipsticks, lip liners and possibly some lip glosses that I absolutely love and I think um, would be good for light, medium skin tones. I know a lot of you wanted to see this one and you're all excited for it. So I'm excited to do it for you guys. I'm going to share with you four lip liners that will go with your nude peaches, your nude beige neutral colors, um, and nude kind of pink shades. So, um, and some sort of those movie tones, which kind of go in more the pink category, don't they? So, okay, so the first one is Boldly Bare. Now, this one can go with your um, beige pinks or your um, peach kind of shades. So, um, this is MAC Boldly Bare. Another good one to have in your collection would be, and this is my most used and most loved, and this is Chanel Natural. And this one goes again with um, your peach kind of or light neutral beige kind of lipsticks. Can also go with um, your pink nudes as well. So two very versatile um, lip liners. You can see this one pulls a little bit more light pink than the Boldly Bare. Oak lip liner by MAC is another one that will go well with um, your beigey, peachy tone um, lipsticks. So Oak is on the bottom there. So you can see it pulls a little bit more brown than the others. And the last one is one another one of my favorites, and this is the Burberry Rosewood Lip Liner. This one goes with more pink tones. You can see it's more of a mauvey, light mauvey liner. It's quite similar to Chanel Natural, but it pulls a little bit more mauve. Okay, so I'm going to throw in one more, and this is Dior Sparkling Beige. And I'm putting this one in there because I feel like this one would make a great base for any lipstick if you want it to last um, a long time. It's the lightest of all the lip liners that I have Probably here. the most long-lasting out of all the lip liners I have. So you can see it's up the very top there, and that's Dior Sparkling Beige. So I'm going to show you lip swatches on my lips with the liners that I recommend with each lipstick. I'm going to start off with the nude pinks and then we'll move on to the peaches. This is Tom Ford's blush nude lipstick. Now this I think everybody um, who doesn't mind um, allowing to spend themselves a little bit more for a lipstick, I think everybody needs this colour in their collection. So um, the lip liner that I love to pair with this one is Burberry Rosewood. Okay, so this is Tom Ford Blush Nude with Burberry Rosewood Lip Liner. This one is Angelic and this is a colour by Laura Mercier and it's the Cream Smooth Lip Colour. This one's a little bit more of a beige, muted down, um, I would say, yeah, beige muted down pink with a hint of mauve. And again, I've paired this one with Burberry Rosewood Lip Liner. So you can see it's got a little bit of a gloss in it, but it's um, quite opaque um, and it's a beautiful colour. Okay, so the next one is Hourglass Femme Rouge Lip Stylo, and this is in the shade number three. This is very much a fleshy pink tone um, lip color so it's quite bright so with this one you could either go with any lip liner that I suggested but today I'm going to pair it with um, Dior Sparkling Beige
So you can see it's a little bit more of a brighter pink than the other two. This one could go either way depending on what lip liner. So if you were to pair this one with say a MAC Oak lip, lip liner it would go more peach or Dior Sparkling Beige it would go more pink. It's again quite opaque and it's more of a satin finish. This one's a newer addition to my collection and if you live in Australia you can find this Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipstick from your chemist warehouse in the um, clearance bin. I absolutely love these lipsticks. Again they're quite opaque um, and they're kind of a satin finish and they're just amazing lipsticks for drugstores. So nude nuances. I'm going to pair this one with Chanel Natural Liner. So you can see this one pulls a little bit more of a brighter beige pink than the Laura Mercier um, Cream Smooth Lip Colour in Angelic. Um, but they're very similar. So if you are an extremely fair skin tone, this would look gorgeous on you. Okay, so the next one is a absolute favourite of mine. And this one is in my handbag 24-7. So I've probably forgotten to show you this one in videos because it's just always in my handbag. This one is the Clinique Chubby Stick in Curviest Caramel. And for me, this one's quite neutral. So I love this one and I never pair this one with any lip liner because it's one of those on-the-go lippies. I can wear it without any um, lip liner. I can wear it without any um, makeup and it just brightens up my face and I love it. So Curvious Caramel, I'm going to apply just on its own. So that is Curvious Caramel. It lasts a long time. It's quite a satin finish. It's got a little hint of gloss in it. Um, you can see the finish. It's not completely matte. And don't let the name fool you with caramel because on me there is no hint of caramel in this whatsoever. So um, you can see I recommend this chubby stick from Clinique. It's gorgeous. This is a Givenchy La Rouge lipstick in the colour Beige Plume. It's an apricot peachy beige and it's quite matte so um, you're not going to get any gloss out of this one. And um, I'm going to pair this one with MAC Oak Lip Liner. So you can see it goes quite well with MAC Oak Lip Liner. Now I will note that MAC Oak Lip Liner is a little bit more brown and dark as you can see. If you don't like that look you can always pair it with Dior Sparkling Beige Liner. It would be perfect as well with this one and you won't see the, li um, the liner. Although it is a matte finish you can see um, it's still got a bit of a satin sheen to it. I could not do a nude lip video without including one of the nude buff nude lipstick range from Maybelline and this one's in the shade 732 brazen beige I have four of their lipsticks so it's a very um mac myth kind of color so I'm going to compare brazen beige to the nude nuances by Maybelline so um, this one is definitely a lot peachier than this one. This one's leaning a little bit more pink, but obviously on camera you can see it's very hard to determine the difference. Even in real life, they're very similar, but um, one is a little bit more pink. So I'm going to pair Brazen Beige with MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. This one would go great with a really dark smoky eye. Um, it's just gorgeous. So, okay, lucky last. This one is Mac Honey Love. Honey Love is kind of neutral to me. It's it's got a hint of pink and a hint of peach, but it is leaning more beige brown. So. Um, I love Honey Love. This one's a matte finish, so I'm going to pair this one with MAC Oak, and you'll find most people like to pair MAC Oak with this one. It just looks stunning.
so that is mac honey love and you can see it's a beautiful matte it's not drying at all still got a little bit of a satin kind of finish um, and i've paired that one with oak so i've got five lip glosses that I feel like you could throw on top of any of those lip combos that I showed you and it would look beautiful. These are absolutely amazing glosses, gorgeous. I'm going to start off with Lilium. This is one of those glosses that is absolutely gorgeous in the center of the lip to create a fuller pout because it's got a lot of multi-dimension um, shimmer in it and it's quite frosty so it's not like baby sparks but it gives just um, a as equal effect as what Baby Sparks would with all the multi-dimension glitter and it just brings out the pout. So that is Lilium. Next one is a Chanel Glossomer and this one is in the shade number 73. This one I would describe is a light seashell pink. It's a little bit frosty. It's just on the bottom there. Again, it's just one of those gorgeous light frosty center of the lip. Um, pouty type of glosses and it's a little bit lighter and less pink and more kind of neutral than the um, Lilium. Of course I had to add MAC um, Baby Sparks Dazzle Glass. Um, this one's just gorgeous. This one lasts a long time. It's a little bit more of a blue tone in it um, and it's got more blue reflex in it than the other glosses. The next one is Tom Ford Naked. This one's quite a beige toned um, color. It's quite neutral. It's in between. This one's quite opaque, um, but very stunning on um, any of your nudes. I'm going to show you one more for the mauve lovers, and this is a gorgeous lip gloss, and it's the Revlon Supernatural Lip Gloss. This one's just a flat color there's no shimmer or sparkle in it makes a really pretty topper um, on those mauve kind of lipsticks or on their own um, just beautiful so that one is super natural i hope you guys enjoyed that and you got some nice ideas if you end up picking up anything let us know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for other videos of course let me know i'll list everything i've talked about everything that i'm wearing on my face today will be in the description box below along with my social media links and anybody that i may have mentioned um, i'll link all that down below in the description box i hope you enjoyed that um, i will see you again very soon and take care